Hey YouTube, um, this is a uh, kind of an update video, but mainly just a display video too. This is my uh, Korean War display, and I got like two new things. And uh, yeah, I'll just kind of show everything together. And uh, yeah, so this is my pack, the shovel, and then the wool blanket. I just took some paracord and tied it on there. This, I don't know, I, was at, I just put it on there. I was at a friend's house because I bought another one of the canteens, so I didn't have room for it. But um, this is my new canteen that I got. I'm pretty sure it started out as a green canteen because of the shade of it. That's a 42, I mean 42. Uh... Dated canteen. It's pretty good. It's a few dents. The chain's rusty, but it's a good canteen. I got it for 15 bucks, so I was gonna turn that down. And this is the uh, here. I'll show you. It's a uh, doesn't have a date, but it's the wide strap back here. See, that's the wide, and then that's the narrow. It's a reproduction. Here, I'll take this off so you can see the shade difference and stuff. I was pretty sure that this was a green one. This is a Miltec canteen cover. This is a what price glory canteen cover. And I'm pretty sure it started, and this is an original green one. That's originally khaki, or OD number three, if you want to get technical. But, um, yeah. So I'm pretty sure it started out as green. But, anyways, it probably use it for, I mean it's light enough where I could use it for my World War II one. World War II impression, which is probably what I'll do. And, uh, so, that's that. Throw that over there. So my Korean War stuff is pretty much set. I just, you know, uniform and boots. That's about it, but just got hash. That's what I put in my pack. It's not in there right now. My pack's kind of flat. I think I got a couple shirts in there. And some other personal items. You can see my um, contest entries for the personal items. It's the, everything that's in there. And then just a hand grenade. It's not World War II, but painted it green. Looks decent. And then, of course, my grand. Looks really nice. And one update about the grand is. I was ironing the dents out of the stock, which is where you take a wet rag and you get it really soaking wet, and uh, then you put an iron over it for a couple seconds, and then it'll pop the dents out. I don't know if you can tell, but there used to be two dents there, and now there's just a little chip, and then that's just discolored. It doesn't really go in very much. And then there's a couple little dents that I fixed on it. But it, it can't be a scratch, because if, if there's wood scratched out, it won't work. It has to be a dent, because when a dent happens, it compresses the wood. And then when the iron, when the steam gets in there, it expands the wood back to its regular shape. And one thing, I was kind of foolish to start ironing this out. Let's see if I get a good shot of it. See these hash marks? really hard to tell on camera but there was like eight or nine of them and I think that possibly could be like a kill count or something let's see there's one two three four five and just from looking through the viewfinder I can only see five yeah whatever but there's I shouldn't have really ironed those out but whatever it's kind of neat and then there's my helmet, and I put it green side out just because I felt like it, honestly. They would usually have it round side out. But I'm not going to flip it over and make it look nice just for the video. So yeah, that's my display. Looks pretty decent, I think. And of course, there's my toothbrush. It shouldn't have been in frame. But, uh... Yeah. So it's just... 
I mainly need straps for here because from a distance you can't tell the poncho. This is this is for Korean and World War II. I'm talking for what I need, and then uh, if I'm doing World War II, a new shovel. But I'm kind of tight on money right now because I want to get ammo for the grand and shoot that and other stuff. And then for World War II, like P2 canteen covers, but probably not gonna buy that for a while because I can't just throw out fifty bucks for. Two canteen covers. I want to get more original stuff, so my stuff looks original. And one thing for the P forty one suspenders is, if I were to buy them again, I'd buy them at um, uh, what's that store called? World War Two. What was it? World War Two reenactor? No. World War Two impressions. There we go. This is at the front stuff, and there's, there's nothing wrong with this. Except for the fact that it's two inches longer. They say it's two inches longer, but I think that's a little bit more because I'm 5'10", and I wear it where, like, I, I wear it lower where it should be. And it's still, like, those buckles are, like, when I wear the, the suspenders and the pack, the buckles are, like, right here. And I have a feeling that after a while, since I honestly don't wear this pack very often, you can tell it's still got the crease from the fabric there, but um, that could rub up against there and do that. It's not a big deal right now, but if you were to buy those, and especially if you're shorter, definitely go with the World War II impressions. I'm pretty sure those are just as good, and they're appropriate length. They should just make a size things so they have the regular and the large but I'm just kind of ranting right now so but yeah there's the update oh and I got uh, two I think these are the I'll have to look up what's the difference between the P38 and P52 or whatever the can openers are but I got two of them I had a P38 a long time ago but it was kind of it like broke so I gave it to a friend Another thing I got, which is really cool, is uh, uh, World War One. I. I believe it's World War One, just because of the fasteners on it. But it's a Marine Corps emblem, and the reason I think it's World War One is this screw. It's a fairly long screw. It would be meant for mounting onto like onto the front of a Kelly helmet. Which is that kind of dorky looking, in my opinion, helmet that came before this one. But there'd be a hole in it, and then you'd screw this in there. And, yeah, it's kind of interesting, because that was 5 bucks for one of those. World War One original. And then it's like 8 bucks for this one. Which was a, yeah, like, Chinese Amazon one. And it broke. So, yeah, you can see the piece of the anchor broke off of it. And that one looks cooler, so... Whatever. Well, that's my update. So, comment, rate, subscribe.